Hello everyone, welcome to Concept Share Connect YouTube channel. Uh, today we are going to discuss about property tab builder, how easily we can create custom property and we can integrate this custom property to our drafting workbench so that directly we can fetch all our shit related data from our custom property. So before that, let me introduce myself. This is Amit Kumar Sarangi, working as a senior application engineer at Concept Share Connect. Let's see how to use property tab builder. First, we just need to click on that property tab builder icon. Then you can see there is a one property tab builder window appear. Then we can define that group box name as part properties. Okay. Then you can see I'm just dragging and dropping that a list icon to the particular property tab. There we can define that particular list name. Like you can see drawn. In the list, you can define your different different design engineer name like who are created that particular uh, drawing. Okay, like that you can complete all other work like it drawn by, checked by and approved by. Okay, now you can see using the same method, I am defining that part name. So here the part name is a text only, you can define like that only. Then you can see using this radio tab, what you can define, you can define that manufacturing method okay here i am defining that manufacturing method like we can define casting as our manufacturing method 3d printing as our manufacturing method and the machining is our manufacturing method so it will comes like a option so among all this manufacturing method option you can pick any option now we can simply drag and drop text icon once more time so here we are just going to define our date so how this is how we can create the proper data builder and please remember that you have to save it as a particular location here in this video you can see this is a particular location here you need to save this as a particular template so once it is saved where you just need to go next time you just need to go to the custom property so in this custom property you can see all the properties are there here you just need to select like drawn by checked by approved by you can define the part name and the manufacturing method once you define all the parameters, once you then just need to click on apply. You can see here this is the part property. This is how you can very easily create your property. But what is the benefit of it? Like you can see we are drag and dropping any view to our particular drawing sheet. But you can see know that whatever the property we defined in our property tab builder, it's not fetching. So what we need to do here, we need to make some changes. We just need to integrate that one okay so how to link that one here you can see you just need to edit it just check by that link you can define so step by step what happened that drawn by checked by approved by step by step you just need to link with the property whichever we, we already created in our property tab builder in our part modeling environment okay so this is how you can integrate all your parameters or your parameters to your drawing sheet so that we can easily bring all those information from your part to the drafting environment now you can see all are there but what do we need to do we just need to save it as a template okay so just do it refresh then click on file save as here also we just need to save it as a drawing template so once it is a drawing template we can define any part name and you can save it as a template then you can see you just need to click on that template and when you drag and drop any the view any of the view you can see automatically it will fetch all your information from your part modeling environment okay so this is only the first part of our total series of the video for the property tab builder and predefined view creation using solid so for the next video stay connected with our youtube channel thank you everyone